Hi my friends. Welcome to my channel. How the Hook Turns. I'm Bernadine and I will be with you for a little while today visiting with you and showing you what I've been doing here in my craft room and I have been working. Okay. Work, 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 work. That's where I've been. I haven't made a video because <laughs> I've been working. I've been crocheting, crocheting. No, I'm not a slacker. I want to show you how far I've gotten so far. Yeah. I do have a stitch marker in it, so I'm not going to lose my place. So, here is my shawl. It's growing, friends. It's growing. I hope you can see that. I hope I have the lighting right in here. Yeah, what do you think? I'm excited about it, okay? Finally figured that pattern out. It's tricky right at first, but once you get it, you don't need to read that. You don't need to read the instructions or the pattern any longer. You can just go, 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 okay? And that's what I've been doing. I should be farther along. It's not because I haven't been working on it. Hours and hours every day all week. I've been doing that and even this morning. That's what I've been doing But as you can see The stitches are very small There is a lot of single crochet in this thus It doesn't go very fast But I love it. I love the outcome of it if you have the patience to stick with it. Okay, I showed you my yarn the last couple of times. Look at the hole down in it now. <laughs> Good thing about two of these babies, isn't it? I'm going to need it. And I will probably... So you see... Let me, let me get back. You see on me how it comes just on my front. So I predict I'm going to need all of both skeins. And the skeinage, the skeinage, the yardage is 1,092, I believe. I threw that away this morning. The band that came off, the one I'm working on. Because I have another one with the same band on it. But I'm not going to get up and get it. But I think it's a 1,000 and something. I know that for sure. Let me get a drink. Friends, I've been dehydrated. And I've been working, working, working to get my water in. Yes. So, this plain old water. I don't feel thirsty, so I have to force myself. Remind myself. Once I remind myself, it's okay. Hook of the day is my, let me turn this lighting up a little bit. Hook of the day is this dots hook. I can hold on to it. 5.0 millimeter. If you can see that. This is the head on it. I want to give you a close up of the head on it. Okay, that's the back of it. It's very similar. It's very similar to a clover. As I've said before, it's got a thumb rest on it. It's longer than the clover, quite a bit longer. So I like the way I can ma manipulate it with the, my, these two fingers. When I crochet. Yeah, I like that. Uh, with the clover, I don't have one right here near me. But with the clover, I don't have a lot of a lot of extension to do that with. I, I like doing that. I like when I crochet to do that. That's just me. And we're all unique. Would you like to grab you something to drink and a project? And the hook of your choice and come sit down with me 
and let's do a little crochet and chat. Okay, you go get yours, and I'm going to, I'll pause this here, because I'm going to turn y'all around where you can see better. While I'm doing that, pause this video and go get you a project and a drink, and meet me back here. Okay, friends, I'll be right back, and I hope you will too. We're back, friends. I hope you are too. And I was trying to get this set up so you can watch me crochet and listen to me while you crochet or knit or whatever you do or just relax. Yeah. So as you can see, this is one of the single crochet rows. There are two rows of the double crochets that make this uh, circle that you see here. These circles. Yeah. But this one, in between the, that row of those circles that seem to connect, you have four rows of single crochet. And again, this is called escape. Escape, and that's the title of it, on Ravelry. So if you're interested in this pattern, it is a tedious pattern because there are a lot of small stitches in it. And I'll be truthful, friends, I've never made anything like this. Not, not, not single crochet shawl. You back loop only single crochet. Now back loop only, that can cause, that alone can slow you down. So you see why I haven't been on. I wanted to get some of this done before I came back on here on this channel. I wanted to do it yesterday and have a whip Wednesday, but that didn't happen. And then last night, my husband decided he wanted to go to choir practice, so we did it. We went, we went. So, we didn't get, I didn't get a video made yesterday. I was very much into this shawl, working on, working it up. So, today, I had a doctor's appointment this morning at 10 o'clock here in Plainview because my doctor has left. She moved back to the Dallas area, and she's been our doctor ever since we moved here. She had just set her practice up, and we had just moved here, so we were one of her new patients. The first week she were she was here, we were we established ourselves with that doctor. So of course she knows us so very well. We hated to we hated to lose her, but she wanted to be near family and even if that wasn't the reason, heck, if you decide to relocate, you do you. You you do what you need for you and your family. Well, Whatever you do for a living, I mean, it's okay. We'll find somebody else. So she had recommended this doctor. So today was the first day I got to, my husband went with, went with me. So we got to meet him. He is very young. But so was she. And... If she recommended him, well, we figure we'll give him a try. He was very pleasant, good bedside manner. Spent a good bit of time in there just getting to know me and going.
going over my chart and seeing if there was anything I was concerned about or wanted to address or anything anything he, th that I wanted to address. He was there to hear about it. So that's pretty cool, right? So that part I like a lot. And I don't go back till three months, which is November the 1st. Friends, it's August the 1st. 2024 already. Wow. Like I said in the other video, time is just flying by. I believe it was in Matthew 24, verse 22. It could be Matthew 22, verse 24, but I think it's 24. Verse 22. It says that in the last days, and I may not be saying the words exactly right, if it were not for the, 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 the days will be shortened for the sake of the elite. And who is the elite? Well, it's, it's Jesus's children, us. But I, I, because of the elite, so to me that would be Christians, okay? Followers of Christ, the saved, the people that have put their faith in Christ, the church, Jesus' church. So, <laughs> maybe that's why the days seem shorter. I don't know. I'm just... I'm just here crocheting and chatting. Oh, since I put out the video about a shout out to all the Aunt Y'all's animals, I found a few more and I apologize for not getting to them before now. Okay, but let me do that right now. Let me do that right now. Okay, we have a, a subscriber in Alaska who has a dog named Tilly, and I believe, I believe it, if I saw the picture right, it looked to me like a white poodle. That's a cute name, Tilly. So shout out to you, Tilly. I hope you're staying warm up there in Alaska <laughs> and enjoying the wide open spaces. I guess, I guess it's like that up there. I've never been up there. I would like to go sometime, but no, I've never been to Alaska. So shout out to both of you. And I want a shout out to a subscriber. I'm not sure where she lives at. She didn't tell me that. Or if she told me it was in another uh, comment and I've forgotten, but she had a dog named Bo, and he crossed over the Rainbow Bridge. So I'm so sorry you lost Bo. We get so attached to our animals. They're our family. We really love them, and they, they adore us. They bond to us, and us to them. So I'm sorry you lost Bo, and she has not re got another dog since Bo passed over, but she does have a cat, and his name is Ollie, so I can shout out to Ollie, Kitty Ollie. I have an Oliver, and sometimes I call him Ollie. My husband can't seem to remember his name. He's calling him, instead of Oliver, he calls him Oscar. <laughs> He's not Oscar. Anyway, sometimes that happens. Okay, now I have another subscriber who has a dog named Patches. That is another cute name for a dog, Patches. And she also has a cat named Texas, so I assume she lives in Texas, but I don't know that. <laughs> but she might. She might live in Texas. Do you live in Texas, my friend? And she says the cat named Texas is a 15-pound Garfield cat. 
So we all know he's he he's taken care of well. Yeah. He gets what he wants to eat when he wants to eat it. So shout out, shout out to Texas and, and Patches. And then I have a subscriber from Massachusetts. Hello up there, Massachusetts. Greetings from Texas. She has a dog named Lady. Shout out to Lady. And also one cat and some bunnies. Sorry about that, friends. Spam. Robocall. Yeah. I know y'all know all about those. Yeah, I get those a lot. So, that's all the fur babies that I have that I know of. I went back and looked on several videos because some of these were posted on other videos. And I wanted to make sure I got everybody. And if I missed you, I, it certainly wasn't on purpose. Because I've been going over all that this morning after we got back from that doctor's office. <laughs> yeah. So, friends, I'm going to put you back up here. Hold on a minute. So, friends, tell me what all you've been doing. What's going on in your neck of the woods, wherever you live? Uh, Monday? Monday? Okay. Monday, we went to Lubbock. Let me scoot up here. Monday, we went to Lubbock because... Well, there were just a few things we needed. And it ended up being more than a few things. You know how that goes. So we went to Lubbock and we left really early. Uh, hubby wanted to leave at 8. Well, we got out about 8.30, really. And we got there and Costco wasn't even open. <laughs> Rushing me out of the house. And Costco don't even open till 10, okay? It opens at... Uh, 9.30 on Sunday, I think. Or is it Saturday? I forget. Anyway, so we went to Costco and we spent two and a half hours in that store. I'm thinking maybe two. Maybe two, two. I can't really recall now, but it was a long time. And then we went to Chick-fil-A. Do y'all like Chick-fil-A? We went to Chick-fil-A and my sister-in-law was with us. So we went to Chick-fil-A and we all got a bite of lunch. And then we headed out to H-E-B. The other grocery store we go to a lot. I just needed a few things in there. So... My sister-in-law in -law, and I ran in there and got a few things that we needed. Hubby didn't want to get out and go in. I don't see how he could be tired because he rode a cart around Costco, but that's okay. If he didn't want to, that's fine. And then we came back home, and we got home about two, I guess. Two or three. I can't remember, really. And we had to get all the stuff in, and it was hot, and yesterday was hot, hot, 101, today is going to be the same. So when it gets about that time of the day, I don't want to get out. I want to stay in where it's cool. I don't do good in the heat. Water, my friends. Are you drinking your water? Get your water. Trying to get it down, friends. That's my friend over there. <laughs> Lately, my water. But basically, I'm going to wind this up. But please consider subscribing. I would really appreciate it. And if you would leave me a comment and give me a thumbs up, it helps my channel. It helps my channel grow. And I would be most appreciative. And I love y'all. You're my friends. And be kind to others. Do for others. Remember, God loves you. He, 
you're his child and Jesus loves you and he's right there with you. It, my show is over and it's a wrap from my little corner of the world here in Plainview, Texas. West Texas where it's dry and dusty, but that's okay. I'm happy. Come see me next time, friends. Turn the bell on so you know when I'm here. Bye.